This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Vandal Hearts. In the last episode, we beat Kane of the Crimson Guard at Fort Gareth, and he submitted his soul to, well, Zeno for the per powers to defeat us, but it wasn't enough. We were able, despite the powers of Prism Storm and other everything else. But uh, how's, that, how's that battle left a scar on Ash's heart? And what about uh, what about the, the the fear of the blade of Vandalheart? Will it come into play at any point? Let's find out as we enter the Cobalt Beach. We will do the uh, we will do the uh, uh, trial for the final key, but uh, I'm waiting for a significant story impact to occur. If you know what I mean, before I do that, because uh, well, it'll it'll make sense here in the future. Not right now, but pretty close. What is this place? Shard of a traitor! Who said that? Who's there? What? I need the, the solid snake exclamation like found thing. What? You sold out our country! You and your father are the shame of this land! Stop! Stop it! Traitor! Traitor! You'll never be anything but a dirty little life. I hate you. I'll hate you for all eternity. Stop! Ash, Ash, what's wrong? Ugh. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, sorry about that. Are you okay? You don't look well. She's saying that, but she's smiling in her portrait. No, r really, I I'm fine. It's nearly time for us to link up our forces with Clive. Oh yeah, it's been, it's been a while since we've talked to Clive. What is it, the beginning of chapter four or whatever? Uh-oh. First we'll have to deal with those guys. Yeah, we'll deal with them pretty easy. This is a really easy fight. It's, it's almost like this is more of a story-based fight than anything. Um, maybe it was to just give us something toned down from the previous fight that, uh, not super difficult, but could have been tense. Um, yeah, we have a lot of Centurions, and their stats are, eh, they're not even, really not much of a threat. You'd have to really try to fail, and this game gives you so many options to weaken them. Look at that. So, it's, really the big thing on this is, I guess, kind of level up the people who need to level, and make sure to get all the treasure chests. I mean, I guess you could skip them, but you get some pretty nice items from a couple of these. So... But anyway, let's uh, take care of these uh, wackadoos, as it were. Yeah, don't uh, just you can do whatever you want really in this fight. I don't really don't really have an obvious strategy. Like I said, like even if you get ganged up on by multiple enemies, you're probably not going to get one shotted by anyone in this fight because of the their stats. Not, I mean, their levels are higher, but their stats haven't really increased by that much since the last time we fought the blood, the bats, or uh, or the centurions, or the uh, Grenadiers, so yeah, I don't know why they decided to give us such an easy fight like right after the right after the cane fight, but yeah, I guess they just wanted to um, give us a break. I guess. Um, I mean, I guess the the because I think the I think the blood bats paralyze you. I guess that'd be the biggest threat during this whole thing would be that. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna use this fight to like kind of show off some of the items. Because I think during the final battle, I'm just going to ignore... I'm just going to just play it straight instead of worrying about, like, uh... Um, I'll try to end up maybe using, like, some of the wearing fangs and stuff like that. Because when we finish the final battle, I'm not going to worry too much about items and stuff like that. So, yeah, the wearing fangs we got, they cast attack magic. Um, King Boot... Uh, well, let's just show it off. King Boot uh, is basically, uh, or Iron Boot is a, is a uh, it cast a uh, protect on you. I guess I could have used that at another time. Nah, whatever. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see, what else have I not used? Um, I need to try to use that. Well, we know what the Mad Book does that uh, paralyzes someone. Uh, Mushroom will actually poison you. It does the poison spell effect, but we'll show it off when we do. I have not shown off Mystic Energy yet, so let's go ahead and show off that spell while we're here. Um, it, it basically uh, gives you defense and attack up for one turn. 
Uh, but it can be cast on different people, so that's cool. Yeah, so one of the few double buffs, and only the ninjas will get that that buff. So uh, let's see. I'll probably show off the life orb and holy H two O in the final battle. Um, maybe I have to show supreme healing. Basically, that's what the holy H two O does. Is it just me or is the color off? It might be the map. Uh, it might be the green on green on yellow is a bit wonky because I know my uh, PS three. My PS3 does have, like, the cable I use is a bit old. I need to get a replacement one. I have to actually mess with the cable in the back and, like, prop something under it so it doesn't wiggle around and cause the coloration to go weird. And that's what you get for using Mad Cats. It's a Mad, it's a Mad Cats, like, a, um, cable. I wonder if they still uh, make cables for, uh, if Mad Cats still make stuff. I think, it, I think they are still around. But they used to make some pretty crappy peripherals, so... At least when I was when I worked in the um, uh, at the game uh, like a couple of game places, uh, game selling shops, they they were usually were the cheapest uh, and crappier uh, controllers and stuff you can buy. Uh, Hellstone is an attack spell. I'll show that off soon too. Um, I think I quit one of every everyone uh, just to show them off. I probably should have saved that, now that I think about it, I should have saved that iron boot for maybe the last fight because it gives you the protect uh, status. But by that point, you know, like, it's not as much of a worry, so I'm not uh, too worried about having it. I mean, there's probably a good chance at some point later on that I would have used it or earlier in the, in the game. But, like I said, the first time I... Traitor son! I keep changing the voice of that one person. Huh? Who said that? Why are you talking to yourself, Ash? What? What? You've never had this issue. Like, you've, you've had... I mean, okay, you've had issues with the whole, you know, traitor thing before. But it's been a long time since you mentioned that. It never really bugged you that... Urge to kill rising? Better not block again, you rat son of a bitch. <laughs> This is probably one of the few fights I, I wouldn't even care that I that they blocked my attack. I just like I just like being over exaggerated. It's the mark of comedy. But anyway, we get a life orb in here. Very nice. That's a ten ten thousand gold uh, cost item. So very nice. Um, yeah, we'll just go and shove that boulder. Eh. Yay! I could have left it there, but me. Uh, did I? I didn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, just keep moving forward. But yeah, there's really no... Like I said, I don't really have a, a prominent strategy for this. Like, oh, you should do this and this and this. I'm like, eh, just, just kind of go forward and uh, prosper, you know? <laughs> It is kind of weird. Maybe this maybe this uh, battle is supposed to be a palate cleanser or something like that for those who are worried about worrying about like um you know all the challenge and everything like that. Wait, what? Oh, I chose Avalanche and not Salamander. I probably should be trying to figure out who who I want to divvy out the experience to, but because but because I know how to like basically get like a ton of experience like right right off the bat. I don't have to worry about that. Because in the last battle, I could just give... I think I already said this, but in the last battle, I'm just going to give everyone life orbs. And that'll be a way for me to show off how to like get everyone to, like really high stats by the end of the game. Uh, okay, I'm just going to... Do that. Just Salamander again. Why not? Give him something to do. They'll show off. Uh, I don't know. I, I almost thought about just playing the last battle and trying not to show, like, my high levels. But because of what we're going to get, like, eventually, it's like, well, might as well. Oh, it only hit. I thought I was close enough to hit another character. Huh. Well, that was a waste. Oh, well. What is your level at? Yeah, because I didn't cast any magic for Huxley in the previous battle, so. I said I didn't want to uh, 
You know, that's weird. I didn't want to uh, kind of ruin the moment by, you know, cutting the video and having me buff up uh, Huxley during that that epic scene with uh, with Kane. So I was like, you know, just you know, one of the few times I won't mess with like trying to uber charge Huxley to the extreme. To the extreme. Hopefully this uh, this one sh this battle shouldn't take me too long overall. I might actually I may actually will cut the uh, episode just to um, show off like how high Huxley can go. You know I still haven't looked up like how like what the actual farthest level. Oh yeah, you can tell that they're not threat because they're only doing like 27 damage. Even to my healer, or sorry, even to my wizard, only did like 27 damage. You can tell they're not much of a threat. Yeah, 29. See, like you'd have to really try to like screw up on these guys. I mean, I guess they could. I mean, if I really wasn't paying attention, I'll hate you forever. Again, that voice. Can't you hear it? I'm surprised they don't get anyone else to like comment on that. Like, uh, no, Ash, I can't. They're like, it's there, the voices. All right, let's, uh, yeah, probably won't be able to one-shot him. Oh, well. Aw, oh, come on! Man, why do you hate me? Like, why do you hate me, game? Oh, well. That gets you a level, nice. Yeah. I'm kind of curious what everyone's stats are at, like, really high levels by the time we get to that point in the game. I don't, th I don't think I've ever done it, even knowing what I know now about, like, how the how to play the game and everything. I don't think I ever actually um, maxed out, like, uh, or tried to max out my levels as, as far, far as I could. I guess I just didn't want to mess, I, I guess I just didn't want to mess with the grinding or something like that when I was younger. I don't know. All right, are you going to block this time, Mr. McBlocky Pants? Better not. Thank you. Yeah, we'll use Darius to take out this guy and then go get that other treasure, that treasure chest over there. Gives you a pretty nice item for it. So you didn't take any damage, so... Did not, I already showed... Actually, I already showed all their abilities. I don't need to show, and I don't need to show in Venom because it, Poison Cloud basically just does a group version of that. Let's show off... Aw, oh, man, I can't hit... Let's show off the what's this called again? The let's show off the hellstone. I should have given this to like my armor armor people, but I want to show off what it actually does. So yeah, it does thunderball. Yeah, usually that's only an enemy spell, but you actually get to uh, use it. And then actually, can I wonder if King Foil can only use mine myself? Okay, it uses. Let me show off King Foil. That's basically, I think it's just Healing Circle, if I recall. Yeah, it's just Healing Circle. A lot of the items in the game are just either enemy spells or other class spells that you can use in an item. I kind of wish you'd almost gotten more of those items. Like, not like a ton, but like to make it more useful. I don't know, maybe the design of this game was, th the concept of it was to for specific occasions and not being able to access them outside of the class, you know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not, I've never talked to or, or read any interviews about the people who did the, who made the game, so I have no idea um, really what they were what they were deciding or uh, considering while making the game. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to hear like in read interviews, but I'm one of those people that want, wants to know enough about a game, but I don't, but I don't want to know too much. If that makes sense, like then you know, kind of like it's like how how you make the burgers and stuff like that. You almost you you want to know that they're delicious, but you don't want to know how it's actually made or put together because it's a uh, not as pleasant you think. <laughs> yeah, keep hitting me with your weak attacks. Oh hum. Oh. <laughs> Zohar blocked, huh? You almost never see the wizard's block. I don't know if I've shown Zohar's blo blocking uh, animation before. 
I almost considered like at the end of this playthrough doing like a montage of like all the characters and you sold out uh, you sold out your country treat her stop why won't you stop Ash is going crazy people we gotta ding ding dolly d uh, golly man Ash is going nuts That. I was about to say, are you going to block? Nope. Alright, you're 29. Technically, I probably should have... Eh, I want to see what's your level. Well, Darius can probably... We'll probably get the level in it. Actually, why am I... I keep going back to, well, I need to divvy out my levels. I'm like, no, I can just do my trick that I was going to do, and I wanted to worry about that. I don't know, I'm just... You get, you get into certain mindsets, and you... And you forget about um, your original plan. Now we're going to get uh, Hawksley to level 41. I'm almost thinking that the max level has to be like 50 or something like that. I almost thought it was 40 when it when it when when he gained his level. Because I'm like, oh, uh, because it he, the, the level evened out at zero. So I was like, oh, maybe that's his final level. And I know, it keeps going, so. I don't know what's Yeah, I'm only gonna basically start buffing Huxley when uh when he reaches a level, because then that's when uh, Sarah gets the most uh, bump for her for her stats. So. I mean, no reason to use a attack with Dolan. He's a 35. Yeah, his his level he gets a huge bump in HP, and his defenses defense and attack are ridiculous. That's why I'm not doing anything with him. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I could. Oh, I could have shoved the rock on. I got a rock. Uh, even though I don't need to. I'm just... Yeah, sure. Show it off to. Even though I'll take the end of Yeah. Or one, one shot him. Yeah, I'll just. Hi then. Yep, another Holy Age 2 Very nice. Save, I would probably save that for the final battle. Actually, the next battle uh, after this point, and I'm not talking about the key battle, um, wouldn't be a bad place to use it either. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna open fire if I can hit anyone. Nope. Alright, fine, I'll use Salivator. I like the animation. And it's going so much more smoothly than the Kane's thing, because now that I don't have to... Actually, technically, I guess in the Kane fight, I didn't really have to worry about strategy until, like, the final bit, when he started casting Prism and Storm, or whatever it was on everyone. I'm trying to remember how he reacted the first time I saw this. I think I was surprised. I, I had to have been, because it was just a shock, like, with, like, just all the damage he did. I was like... <gasps> I think I still beat it the first try, though. I... I really wish I could say like what I did and didn't do when I first played the game, but I've it's it's one of those cases where it happened so long ago I, I would I would not even begin to recall all the um, all the things I did or, or reacted or whatever. I'm just gonna avalanche you. You deserve it. The bad thing is I'm I've I think I I believe I don't have a very good memory when it comes to like stuff. After a certain point, I only remember vague ideas, but like when I, like I forget a lot of stuff that I did as a kid. Like I guess maybe if someone like really wrapped a certain point in my head about something, maybe I would remember. But, but for the most part, I'd forget a lot of stuff. The only thing I'm gonna think of is that I guess it what my reasoning is that I guess it wasn't that important to me, so I, you know, just got rid of it out of my mind. So, and, I'm not, and the thing is, I'm not even a fan of, like, taking pictures and stuff like that either, so it eventually will just d disappear into the annals of my brain. Because I'll, I'll uh, I don't have any backup for to verify anything, so I guess anything on my site could be construed as questionable, which is fair. I think that's that's a honest uh, feeling to have when it comes to, like, people in general. All right, let's get a... Your final or the final chest here. All right, nice. 
Let's see. Let me see if I can paralyze the bat. And then if I do that, I will... If I can get him paralyzed, I'll try to... I might just do some buffing with Huxley off screen and get some experience for him. Very nice. Yeah, since this fight isn't... Well, I guess it technically is, but it's after the fight that it's the big deal. So, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to keep paralyzing the the bat if i end up killing him i'll just show that part on screen but i'm gonna basically waste the rest of huxley's magic trying to get him maybe another level or two so i'll see you when i do that all right so the bat finally broke its paralyzation and uh and let itself get killed. So I kept trying to paralyze it every turn, but sometimes I wouldn't know if it failed or not. I kind of wanted to show off a couple more items before I did that, but not a big deal. And uh, Huxley gained his 43 now levels. So, or he gained like two levels in between. So I didn't get to max out all my experience because I could have cast a couple more spells, but it's not, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's more of a joke at this point to see how far I can get Huxley before it comes down to it. Ash, are you really all right? Uh-oh. Traitor! Renegade! Toadcoat! You big jerk! Someone stop these voices in my head! Nice chance transform back as to champion class. Although he keeps the same portrait. Ash, what is it? Uh oh. Danger music. Help! Hey! Oh! Eek! A lady, get away from there! Sorry, some of the dialogue went really quick. Do not call me a traitor! Hey, Clive's here. What are you doing here? What? What's going on? Vandal Hart is vying to control of Ash's soul. His trauma from being called a traitor as a boy is emerging. What can we do? I'll have you die, die, die! Whoa. Wish we had that type of power. Stop it! Stop it, Ash! Clive, look out! <laughs> no, Clive! What have you done, Ash? The Sword of Destruction, indeed. Wait a minute, this shield changed. Man, the power of the Asher Van, uh, uh, Vandal Heart is, is strange indeed. What, what what have I wrought? Please, Clive, please don't die. It's better this way, Ash. Now you get to see uh, Clive's uh, uh, defeated portrait, or sort of defeated portrait. What? I'll never forget that fateful day 18 years ago. 18 years ago? Oh, I went a little too fast on that. Ooh, flashback time. It's been a while since we had one of those. So what does Clive know that about Ash that we're not aware of? Hmm. It's been so, so, so long since we mentioned the whole traitor, uh, traitor son subplot that, you know. Who are these people? Um, Eris, I'll cover you. Go out the back. No, Aldor, I won't forsake you. Eris the Sage. We we'd heard of, like he had disappeared after the war ended, but uh well, Elder Lambert, surrender the traitor Eris. Traitor? Didn't he help the the people beat the uh Republic or the uh, the uh, royals or whatever? Stop it, Clive. You've been deceived. Don't interfere or you'll be hurt too. Listen to me, Clive. This is part of a plan to ensnare Eris the Sage. Does he have... I just realized that Aldor has like a mole on his face. <laughs> he looks like a pretty boy, that's for sure. And it's all in sepia tones, too. Uh, what was that one show that was on? How would you feel if I sang another tune? I'll listen no more. Put up your sword! I didn't want to fight, but I have no choice. How about you? So Clive used to... I almost, I almost expected the Wilhelm screen to appear there, frankly. But no, or if it was, it was very modified, so 
I found out later that Aldor spoke the truth. They were just using me to sabotage the new government. After I discovered the truth, I tried to make a public announcement. But the person that deceived me had already been killed in the war. I said nothing for fear of derailing the peace process. And so the truth has not been spoken until this day. So what, did Eris die and Aldor succumbed to his wounds and uh, he was blamed a traitor despite him not being like that? Yeah, it is. The, the odd thing about how, how he was deceived to do that then the fact that the person who deceived him died, it's almost like that part of the story is almost kind of anticlimactic because then something could have come of that. But then you could think about was like, well, war is like that. Sometimes crap happens in between. It doesn't all follow a story or play just like despite the fact that we're following a story in a play, but, you know, anyway. Ash, your father was no traitor. Ash, believe in yourself and do the right thing. <sighs> Sorry, that last bit, little bit went automatic. Clive! We may yet save him. Let's return to town. What? Save him? But it looked like he took a sword to the chest. You saw the blood spurt. That means you die, right? Well... If Zohar says it's true, then it must be true. Can't go against the Zohar. Here you are, Ash. Clive will be fine. Hooray, he survives. I guess not everyone has to die in this. And when that happens, when their artery is cut. Thank the gods. I was so worried. But I nearly killed him. I'm in no condition to keep fighting. What are you talking about, Ash? I can never forgive myself. Listen to me, Ash. Your father, Clive. Your father, Clive. Everyone is fighting for a better tomorrow. You must continue the good fight that, that your father died for. Eleni. It's your turn now, Ash. You mustn't use guilt as an excuse to avoid responsibility. It's your responsibility. You're right, Eleni. It's just as you say. I've been selfish for too long. It's time to do my duty. Selfish? When has Ash really been that selfish when you think about it? I mean, I guess the, the, the whole traitor's son thing, but he seemed to be trying to do the right thing throughout the whole game, but uh, what do I know, right? Complete your father's dying wish. My father's dying wish. You don't have to repeat it. We just heard it from Eleni. Is that the Ocarina of Time? Or, no, it's just regular Ocarina. That's the same ocarina from before. That was beautiful, man. No. Uh, well, I mean, it was, but... I mean, we haven't heard that since... Was it Battle... The End of Battle 4 in Chapter 1? Or whatever? Yes, it's a memento for my father. All those years I hated him, but I just couldn't throw it away. I guess all those years, part of me never stopped believing in him. Ash. We're finally near the end of all this madness. Come on, let's go. I think it's a nice roundabout way, like Ash was there for Eleni when she suffered what she went through, and then he, she was there for him. But now that Ash has got, uh, gotten control over the Vandal Heart and given and and dropped his guilt in terms of, in terms of a, um, you know, proper duty and saving the country, is that enough to beat the final trial, Taroa, and earn the power that is rightfully his? Find out next time in the next episode of Vandal Hearts. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.